working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight for my monster from his slab began to rise and suddenly to my surprise he did the match he did the monster match the monster match it was a graveyard smash he did the match it caught on in a flash he did the match he did the monster match Halloween is a very popular holiday with different activities like wearing costumes, trick-or-treating, and watching scary movies. But some of us are wondering how did Halloween start, where it comes from, and how it became a holiday. Halloween dates back 2,000 years ago during the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain in Ireland. The reason why Halloween is on October 31st is because it marked the end of harvest and the beginning of the dark. The traditions they used were bonfires and feasting. The food they had was pumpkins, apples, potatoes, vegetables, soups, and stews. Another tradition they did was to wear costumes so they can protect themselves from ghosts and other spirits. They also built altars to honor their ancestors and communicate with the dead. The decorations they used were cauldrons, jack-o'-lanterns, mugwort bundles, and candles. Cauldrons represent birth, transformation, and the womb of the goddess. Jack-o'-lanterns were used to ward off evil spirits. Candles and mugwort bundles were used to light an altar. Halloween became a national holiday around the 19th century after the mass Irish and Scottish immigration. Then around the late 20th and early 21st century, many more countries started to celebrate Halloween. Countries that celebrate Halloween are Mexico, France, Italy, Ireland, China, Japan, Scotland, United States, United Kingdom, Austria, Canada, and many others. However, each country celebrates Halloween a bit different than others. Mexico, they celebrate Day of the Dead to honor their ancestors during Halloween. In Japan, they wear costumes and have parties, but they do not go trick-or-treating. In China, they have a big ghost festival that is celebrated on the 15th day of the 7th lunar month and families offer sacrifices of the newly harvested grain to departed ancestors on the day. Scotland has their own name of trick-or-treating called goosing, which is the same thing as what we do in the States. In Austria, kids do not go trick-or-treating, dress up, or eat lots of candy. Instead, they celebrate Alice Legion, which means All Souls Day. To think about loved ones that have passed away, Halloween continues to be a popular holiday all over the world, and we can say thank you Ireland, sign from Piana, I am Brandon Jones, and also happy Halloween. Halloween is around the corner, and some of the students here at MHS are planning to dress up. Let's see what our peers say what they want to be. What I plan on being for Halloween is probably like a quick little outfit, probably Catwoman, a cheetah, Spider-Man, something quick, you know, maybe a Chipotle burrito bowl, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something quick, you know, whatever I can spend my money on, that's all. Um, I kind of dress up as Spider-Man, but like every year I dress up as the Joker, so it's between those two. I'm going to be a sexy bunny rabbit. I'm going to be Red Riding Hood. Hey, I, I'm so tired. I plan on being Batman. Yeah. My name is Jorge, and I'm planning on being, no, I'm planning on being Superman, and he's Batman. So it's going to be like the, the Superman versus Batman, but I'm going to win. There are many things you can be. Just take a look.
For Halloween, I'm gonna dress up as George Washington. Cause you know, the, the hair. Yeah, that's definitely it, for sure. I want to be a pumpkin. Oh, um, I'm planning to be a zombie for Halloween. Okay, um, for Halloween, I want to be a vampire, I think, yeah. For Halloween, I'm going to dress up as Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. I've had the onesie for a couple months now. I'm wearing that to the track or treat as well, Wednesday, October 30th. Make sure you guys come. But yeah, I'm going to be Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. It's a cute onesie, I think, so I'm just going to dress up as him. Everybody has some great ideas. For myself, I'm going to be a giraffe. Hope everyone have a relaxed and safe fall break and happy Halloween. At MHS, acrylic nails are becoming a big trend. Students are using these colorful designs as bold form of self-expression. Here at MHS, there are some students that do nails as a side hustle, and for some, it might turn into a future career. What inspired me to do nails was I just wanted to get some extra money and do something on the side, and I really just started liking it, so I kept going. So... My mom inspired me to do nails. When I was younger, she owned a nail salon and she would always take us there. And it was just a fun environment. She would take me and my family, my cousins, and we would just chill in the nail salon, get our nails done, play with her stuff. And my mom still does nails to this day, so she helps me with my nails now and I do nails. So she really inspired me to do them and yeah. My favorite nail shape to do is like taper square. It's kind of like duck nails. And I like doing it because the shape just be so cute. And I like doing French chips because it's simple and it really can go with anything. And it's cute. My favorite nail design would be probably coffin or almond shape because I, I probably almond shape because it's like it takes the longest to fall off like I feel like those are the most durable like when you have coffin nails they scratch everything and it, it pops off so yeah how long it take me to a full set like an hour and a half to two hours depending on what designs and charms you're getting how long do it take me to do nails it takes me about two to three hours to do a whole set on myself on somebody else, it probably take a little bit longer just because I have to, you know, focus a little bit more and I can't just take my time. Like, I have to take my time with it. That's what I mean. You can follow me at nailsbysia underscore on Instagram. Yeah. You can follow me on Instagram at Little Miss Pit Crew. And thank you. We have heard from some MHS nail technicians. Now let's see what some MHS students go to nail set is. My go-to nail set is probably French tip because it's real cute and classy and it's an everyday nail set. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so my go-to nail set is long and coffin. My favorite go-to nail set is probably just some simple um, French tips. Okay, my go-to nail set is long nails with Hello Kitty designs because I love Hello Kitty. Okay, so my go-to nail set is I usually get long and coffin with like some blinged out rhinestones on my nails. And usually like a pink, a pink um, powder, but yeah. Every student has a different intake when it comes to what nail length they get. I like short nails because you can't go wrong with some shorties and you know, they real cute and classy. I prefer long nails because um, I just don't think like when you got short nails, people could see them from real, for real. So, yeah, I prefer long nails. I prefer short nails because long nails are just too much to like. It's just too much. I prefer long nails because I like being like extra with it. I don't really like short because like I feel like I can't really do too much with short nails. Okay, and I prefer long nails for the sound effects. Like, I like the clicking. I like, it just, it says more than what short nails would say. Short nails, I don't know. I feel like, I don't, I don't feel like they're, like, noticeable, like how the long nails are. 
Price range varies off how long you get your nails and what design you get. The most I'll pay for, for a set, it depends. Like, if I'm doing, like, the most, like, the extra, I pay, like, a good, like, $9,500. It just depends. But, like, on a regular day, like, just to go get my nails done, I'm, like, 65 60 65 yeah the most i would pay for a nail set is nothing over 110 just because like i know like i like mine long and like the little glitter all that type stuff so yeah i can't really say how much because each nail set like whatever you want the price goes up or down so like mm, maybe about a good 130 140 okay the most that i would pay for a nail set is like 100 I'm not paying no more than a hundred. So the most I have paid for a nail set is like one twenty, um, because of length, the time that it takes, and I usually get a lot. So one twenty is the most I pay. I wouldn't pay more than that though. Maybe you can find your forever nail technician through some of our MHS students. Um, to get my nails done, I go to Lynn Nails, but I'm not telling on a person because I get cute. Where I go to get my nails done is Nails by Ingrid on 30, so yeah. I go to um, Nails by Sydney or Flawless Kosi. Um, I kind of go to both, but I mostly go to a nail tech. I just went to this girl named Gabby. She did my birthday nails, so yeah. Okay, so where I get my nails done, I get my nails done by this lady named Star. Her name on Instagram is star underscore does underscore nails. But yeah, that's why I get my nails done by. In the end, acrylic nails have become more than just a trend. They're a way for us to express our individuality and creativity. Whether it's a pop of color or an intricate design, these nails tell our story. Let's celebrate our unique styles and keep sharing the beauty in our school community. Signing off PNN, I'm Jamila Morgan. Yo, you actually came. Uh, yeah, bro, you need help. I'm here. What's up? Dude, why do you need help cleaning your basement anyway? Because it's dirty? Yeah, but like, how dirty could it really be? Wow. Um, that, that's pretty bad. You were you're right. That's, um, that's pretty bad. Dude, how'd you guys even let this get this bad? My, um... My grandpa, he just moved in and started putting a bunch of his old clothes and the rest of it is just laundry. Yeah, the rest of it. it that's all of it. Hey, where do you want me to put this? Um, I don't know. Just put it on one of the shelves over there. Oh, shoot. Yo, is this one of those CD things, bro, that they used back then? You need a vinyl? A vinyl? CD, vinyl? You, you know what I'm talking about. You guys got like a record player or something? Uh, we might have a record player. All right, bro, let's check it out. You know, I'm down for some old time classic music. What type of music do you think it is? I don't know, probably like some old jazz or something like that. Huh. That's at least what it was into. I'm thinking slow jam maybe, grandma, nighttime, one-on-one in the living room. <laughs> well, it's gonna play. Sweet old love. Don't rub me the right way. Yeah, that was weird, but it's just a vinyl. Yeah, see, things are always just something until something else happens. Well, I want to play it. I mean, it's literally not going to do anything to you. All right, bro, you, you do you, mate. I, just hit me Wait, up. Are you right? leaving? Yeah, bro. It, look, if you die, 
Just hit me up, all right? I promise I can hide your stuff when I leave. Die because of a vinyl. Yes. Good voodoo. You haven't seen, like, the ring or something, dude? I'd just rather not, dude. I'm out, bro. I'll see you later. Whatever. Have fun dying. Yo, you still alive over there, bud? Yeah, I'm alive. Like I said, the vinyl was just creepy music. See, bro, I'm creepy music. That that's literally a sign of evil, bro. Evil uses creepy. I I'm gonna get cursed from a vinyl. Look, I think you're just being paranoid. Dude, no, you're just not being paranoid over the right thing. This is something you should be paranoid about. Finding some random thing and it's playing something creepy. That's pretty freaking weird. I think you should be paranoid about it. Just wait. You want to play games, you think it's a joke, you're going to get got. I'm telling you, bro. I guess time will tell. I'll call you if something happens. See ya.
just calling your phone. You good, man? No, yeah, I'm fine. It's just that, um, I don't know. I lost my phone. Yeah, like, I definitely was calling you, bro. You weren't answering, so I have to go by and make sure you straight. No, if you want, we can you come in. Uh, bro, you still got that music phone? Hey, welcome to MHS's very own Guess That Movie. For today, we will have four contestants that will compete in eight rounds where they will watch a short clip of a film, and we'll have to try and guess that Halloween movie. Whoever guesses the most movies correct will be our winner. Let's get started. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie before. What? What? That looks like a really cool movie. Smile. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it because the angle from the car, and I remember seeing the scene in theater. Yeah. This was really creepy. Oh, this one is smile. Yeah. <laughs> uh, smile? It is smile. <laughs> I never even watched that movie, and I just knew it was that. Oh, that that makes sense. Oh, that's that's the one I had to watch with all of the lights on. Yeah, that makes sense. No idea what the name of it is. Yes. I know it's some it's some it's some white lady's name. Mm -hmm. Try and make a guess. I'm not gonna oh, forever. Yeah. Time. You didn't tell me. Um, Carrie. Yeah. Carrie. It is Carrie. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. That's Carrie. That's Carrie. That's Carrie. I don't know. Frick. Um, dude, I know I've seen this scene multiple times because I know they they freaking blow up. I'm pretty sure after. Mhm. Mm Just guess the name. Um. Brittany. No, that's Brittany. <laughs> okay. You're yeah, done. that's you, right? Submitting Brittany. That's Carrie. Michael Myers. What's the what's the actual name of the movie? Um Oh, that's uh um Halloween. Oh, that's Big Boy Michael, and all his none of his movies. I'm pretty sure I named Michael Myers, and it's Halloween. Yeah. Oh, it's Halloween. What is it? <laughs> like I just see Michael Myers pop up. I'm like, oh yeah, that's Michael Myers. But like, the name. So I would have to say that you got that one wrong. It is Halloween. <laughs> the answer is Halloween, y'all. Mm. I watched this, but I don't know the name. Yeah. Um, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. I know my movies, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's um freaking. What's the name? I'm guessing Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Oh shoot, right? Okay. I literally have nothing. It's Hocus Pocus. Boyfriend? Mm. No. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Ghostface. I know it because the phone call, the chick was, the dude was flirting with the chick. And... Freaking, yeah, I remember it. It's Ghostface. Yeah. 
Just wait and go, Swiss. Okay. I don't care about nothing else. You're gonna call oh, it. Scream, scream. I'm gonna scream. Gonna say you're gonna call scream. it Ghostface. Scream. Oh, this one is scream. I don't know. That's scream. Yeah. Uh, scream one. Um, Ghostbusters. Uh, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. I think you should know this one. Oh, shoot, yeah, Ghostbusters. I was See? making sure. Ghostbusters. Yeah. Hey, I know that code. Hello. Hi, Georgie. The original It Pennywise is It original, not the remake that they did. It. Oh, this it. this is um it. It. I was just watching this yesterday. Oh, this is a scary movie. <laughs> Freaking, um, it's a scary movie, but I don't know which one. It doesn't matter, it's a scary movie. Scream? It's not scary. Well, it's Ghostface, so... Scary movie? It is scary movie. No, I'm completely blanking. I, I'm completely blanking. Oh! You know, that makes so much sense. Congratulations to our three winners. They only got one wrong each. And thank you to all the participants for helping out in our MHS Guess That Movie Game Show. I guess your prize is knowing your game movies. For my monster from his slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise He did the match He did the monster match The monster match It was a graveyard smash He did the match It caught on in a flash He did the match He did the monster match From my laboratory in the castle east the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abode To get a jolt from my electrode They did the match They did the monster match The monster match It was a graveyard smash They did the match It caught on in a flag They did the match They did the monster match The zombies were having fun The party had just begun the guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking, all were digging the sounds. Igor on chains, backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the match. They played the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. They played the match. It caught on in a flash. They played the match. They played the monster match. Out from his coffin, Rack's voice did ring. Seemed he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the match. It's now the monster match. The monster match. And it's a graveyard smash. It's now the match. It's caught on in a flash. It's now the match. It's now the monster match. Now everything's cool, Drax's a part of the band. And my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them what is said. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. The monster mash. 
and do my graveyard smash. When you can mash, you'll catch on in a flash. When you can mash, then you can monster mash. Oh.